Hello everyone, in today's video we will be breaking down this reel. This is going to be a new revolution in the history of video editing. Rising of a new era that's going to change everything. If you are my Hindi or Urdu audience, just click on the settings on my video and then go to audio track and simply change it to Hindi. And if you want, you can simply change it to any other language you want and then you are good to go. Now let's get back to video. Now I will just simply go and I will bring in a white color mat to the timeline and drag it to the length of our video. Now I will just make sure to add a color mate to it. Make sure the color is the want and I will select it. Go to effects control, disable the uniform scale, add a scale width and height keyframe. Then move a few frames and simply just bring it down like here and simply just make it to something like this. So I will just place it here. So it will be giving at the start. Make sure it's like this. So it will be giving us this animation. I will just bring it forward to make the animation more faster. Select it and then just ease in them. So it will be giving us this animation. Just bring them more closer to make the animation more faster like this. And you can simply go here in the graphs and just adjust the graphs as well if you want. Now to create this animation when the hands hand comes from here. So how can we create that? I will just go and bring in the hand PNG to my timeline and make sure to place it when this animation ends. So I will place it here. Go to fax control, scale it up. I will place it like this. Make sure to disable and it fits properly. So it will be like this. Now to animate it, I will just select the lips tool and make sure to change it back to rectangle tool and I will make a shape layer to like this and from the essential graphics section I will change it to white like this now I will just make sure to extend it from the animation and I will select the fist set a position keyframe move this as our final position and at the start make the fist come down like here and just go to graphics select the graphic in the essential graphics and simply just make sure to make it bigger so the hand doesn't show so it will be giving us this animation i will just select the hand and go to effects control and simply drag the keyframes closer to make the animation more faster first select and just ease in them to make it smoother so this will be our animation for now now to round the corners of this color mat i will go to effects controls just add roughen edges and when this whole scene ends i will just make sure to add edge sharpness and border keyframes make this zero and make this to cut and i will move here and simply change it and i will change it to like this 10 so the whole animation will be like this now select them and simply just ease in them too now to create this text i how can we do that and these shadows so i will just type in type in this revolutionary and i will go to fax control and simply just bring it here scale it down and make the rotation to 90 degrees like this and simply just drag it like here now go to essential graphics select the text scroll down and disable the stroke enable the fill and the fill color will be black like here go to fax control and simply just scale it up like here so it will be like here i will just make sure to select this and i will nest this whole sequence and i will bring this text down now to make the shadow i will just copy this text and simply just place it like here and in the opacity section i will make it opacity to 20 and i will make another copy of it and simply select it move it to the other side as well so this will be our text so the next animation you can simply use premiere composer this animation here and now if we move forward we have this line so how can we create that i will just scroll down and i will select the pen tool make a hold shift and make a line like this and go to essential graphics simply enable disable the fill enable the stroke and stroke will be around eight and i will just move it like here and i will place it now i will select the rectangle tool choose the ellipse tool hold shift and create a small circle like here and in the section i will enable the fill and make it to black and disable the stroke and now if we move forward we will just select all these i will just bring it here and i will select all these and make sure to cut them 
like here and select all the layers and simply just click next now i will go to facts control simply add a position keyframe move a few frames and i will just bring the uh, sorry i forgot to select the color mate so i will select the color mate as well and simply just nest it now go to sequence and i will just click the position property and make sure to drag the whole frame upward like this so it will be for now here and i will just copy this line and simply just place it here go to and i will position it like this and simply just rotate it i will make it to 90 degree and simply just place it like this so it will be looking like this i will just make sure to animate it so how to animate it i will set a uniform scale and i will choose the anchor point of this make sure to select the anchor point and make it like here this will be our start animation i will add a scale width keyframe and make it zero at the start move a few frames and it will be back to something like this so it will be giving us this animation i will bring the keyframes closer to make the animation more faster like this and so it will be moving like this and to create the whole this whole frame i will just bring this here and bring this out of the frame and from here it will be like this so the next animation i will just select the ellipse tool and make a shape to like this now i will just simply center align it like here and to go to essential graphics and simply just change its color to this go to effects control and simply just choose the anchor point of it the anchor point of this will be the middle of the circle for example it will be this and i will set the position keyframe here and move it as our final position at the start it will be zero so it will give us this animation like this to make it fast just first ease in and then bring the keyframes closer like here and i will just simply position it here now just go and simply just bring in this image of the greek god a statue of it holding a laptop so i will just make sure to it will be approximately like this and if we see we have this text and these so how can we create that i will just go and simply bring in this real pngs to the timeline make sure to extend them and simply just scroll down and just scale down them as well and simply place them here and simply just change the opacity to something like 25 or 30 now make another copy and simply just move it to the other location and just change the rotation to make it look different like this so these will be here and to create the other text i will just type in the text tool and i will type in video now i will select the whole text go to essential graphics and simply i will disable the fill enable the stroke and i will make the color of the stroke to something like the dark purple uh, light purple and now i will just extend this layer as well now go to facts control and simply just scroll down and it will be like this you can simply just bring the statue upward to make the text behind and you can further animate it and for this animation when this moves out of the frame so how can we create that i will just select this all these and cut them now i will select all the layers and simply just right click and nest them as well now select the nested sequence move to the start add a position keyframe move a few frame and simply just drag them out of the frame now select both and i will just ease in so it will be giving us this animation you can simply bring the keyframes closer to make the animation more faster now if we move forward we have this animation like this so how can we create that i will just go and i will bring in this clock image as well now first we will create a frame and then we will animate it so i will just make sure to fit it here and now to create the text like this this will be our text and for this one i will choose a premiere composer animation i will go to premiere composer and i will select this i will disable the animate out and simply increase this to six seconds now i will select this go to essential graphics and the text will be of new era and i will just type in first i will type in rising now i will go here and simply change the font and make the first letter picker like this and now scroll down change the color field to this color the purple one and make sure 
to go to effects controls and simply just scale it up and place it right here now i will make a copy of this text as well move this a few frame like here and i will just bring it down and i will just go to essential graphics again and i will change the text uh, so it will be like this and i will just make sure to go here and change this font to something simpler or i will choose this font go here and simply just place it now i will go to essential graphics and i will change the color to black and effects control and simply place it here so it will be giving us this animation so the whole animation is created now what we need to do i will just select it and simply just nest them now i will add a position keyframe move this here and at the start it will be like this out of the frame i will select both keyframes and simply just ease in them so it will be like this and i will just bring these keyframes here and as you can see it will be like this so if we move forward we have this animation so how can we create that you can just add text so i will just show you the last animation now here and i will select the ellipse tool ellipse tool and i will hold control and make a shape like this make sure to place it here and just make the to bring this image as well effects control of this image first i will just type in flip and i will make it horizontal flip so the image will be like this and i will place it here and if we see the whole two frames coming upwards so i will just select both and simply just nest them go to position properties move this as our final position at the start bring it down and bring the keyframes closer to make the animation faster it will be like this now just simply is in them so it will be like this so that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye